Beerster has been out at Orlean Square all morning as the line grows long for Trump's rally outside the venue. Madeline, what's the latest out there? So Haley, still hundreds, if not thousands of people still out here in line, all stretched around the building. They're all trying to get in to hear former President Donald Trump speak today. They're excited when I talk to them. They're looking forward to hearing some of his policies. They're looking forward to hearing him talking about the economy, taxes, American-made goods, I'm sure immigration, abortion, all of those key issues he will discuss. Let's take a look at this line here. It is just stretching hundreds and hundreds of people. People we spoke with this morning say they've been out here till around 8 o'clock this morning, even as early as five o'clock. And the latest that I'm hearing from people is that they're disappointed a little bit that there's no room or extra space outside for people to be able to even hear his speech if they're not able to go in. Again, it's first come, first serve. So we talked to some of those voters. We're going to let you take a listen. All the, you just don't know who's here. You know, the best of the best. We need the best of the best. People like you, people like your cameraman, people like the people that work for your facility. We don't need people that have been let out of jails, what kind of diseases they have? Well, because I support Trump all the way. I feel like the Democrats have a very serious, outrageous anti-Semitism problem. And that's probably one of my main issues, is the anti-Semitism anti that is raging in this country. I never thought it would be like that. A kind of SCAD, local conservative SCAD students yes. supporting Trump. Yes. <laughs> it's very good to see some fellow students out here that show support considering it is a liberal arts college and knowing that any conversation afterwards can be very mutual and open minded with respect. But knowing that I can make a difference by being out here and showing my school support means a lot. Don't, you know, everybody knows about the gas, everybody knows about the inflation, but what people need to focus on, I think, is the freedom because they're taking your freedoms away. Everybody's going to see what he's going to offer us. Anything particular you're excited for him to talk about today? They're bringing the cost of living down. The grocery stores, the gas prices, everything is very expensive. I think he's going to talk about taxes and whatnot. I'm just anxious to hear what he has to say. So again, hundreds if not thousands of people around here, all stretching around two blocks in downtown Savannah. The Nats are out as well, uh, but there is so far we've seen one Kamala Harris supporter um, in line with the Trump supporters. We're going to continue to be out here all the rest of the day bringing you the latest from this rally. We'll toss it back to you guys. All right, thank you, Madeline. Now this